Hey guys, this is Dave and Kathy. We wanted to share with you today the best boondocking spots that we found when we were traveling out west. Hope you enjoy. Number one on our list is the Nomad Dispersed Area, also known as the Wall. This is right outside the Badlands and you are literally camping on the side of a mountain. It is just spectacular, especially as you watch storms come across. So be careful and watch the wind forecast as it does get breezy and you will have company. Number two on our list is Scoria Pit. It is on the side of a mountain overlooking Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Be sure and bear to the right because if you go straight, you will be on private property. But this is big rig friendly and big views. Number three on our list is Belle Forge Campground on the edge of the Devil's Tower. This is a first come, first serve campsite, $20 a night. It has shade, level sites, picnic tables. If you can make this happen, I definitely would. There were deer, there were prairie dogs. It truly is a great place to camp. Number four, but my all time favorite, Two Medicine Campground within Glacier National Park. It is a first come, first serve campground, dry camping, and you need to make sure that your rig will fit in these sites but between the wildlife, the hiking, and the views, you just can't beat this for one of the best boondocking spots that there is. Number five on our list is the Upper Teton View on Shadow Mountain, overlooking the Grand Tetons. It is steep going up, but there were Class A's, full school buses on this camping site. There were about 12 sites and you did have the opportunity to have amazing sunsets. So I would highly recommend taking a chance. Number six, the Green River Geyser. This was a beautiful secluded location that had its own geyser that would go off about once an hour. The roads in were extremely bumpy, but if you took it slow, it wasn't bad, and the sunsets at night made up for that. Number seven is Willow Creek Road, BLM. This was an area that was very easy to access. It's located near the Arches and Canyonland National Park. We woke up to a lot of new neighbors as it's very busy and hot air balloons. And again, at night, the sunsets were just spectacular over the mountains. I highly recommend. Number eight is Bees Lewis Flat Road. This is overlooking the Capitol Reef National Park. Conveniently located, easy to get to, the weather was wonderful, and the views are just unmatched. I would highly recommend this area if you're seeing the Utah National Parks. Number nine, but my favorite secluded camping area is located in the Vermilion Cliff National Monument at Marbles Canyon Soap Creek Dispersed area. This was just gorgeous. We were the only ones there and we could see for miles. It's between the north and south rim of the Grand Canyon. Number 10 is Tombstone Dry Camping. It's conveniently located near downtown within walking distance to all the local attractions. The owners of the site are super nice and very helpful with anything that you may need. And last but not least, the sunsets were just amazing over Arizona. I have two bonus boondocking spots that are located on the beach. The first one is Rutherford Beach. This is in Creole, Louisiana, an area that was devastated from Hurricane Laura in 2020. Between the shells, the fishing, and just all the great Louisiana people, this was one of our favorite beach camping areas. 
Last but not least, can you even say you're boondocked on the beach if you haven't been to Magnolia Beach in Lavaca Bay, Texas? This area has hard packed sand, no tides that come in, and the water is clean and clear. You also get to watch the ships coming across on the bay. It's packed during the holidays, but I would highly recommend this area. Remember to scatter your sunshine along the way and share your favorite boondocking spot below. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you soon.